Okay, even if it's only possible that testing could help, even if it only provides a, a psychological lift, what grounds do you have for stopping my client from testing? Now, I'll tell you the grounds, wise guy. Wise guy? When she advertises that she tests every single one of her cows, but she's the only one who does so. Which is the truth. She implies that her meat is safe and that other meat isn't, and that is bad for the industry. Yeah, but you didn't ban the advertising, Mr. Beavis, or is it butthead? You banned the actual testing itself. And by the way, when did it become the goal of the Department of Agriculture to protect the meat industry? I always thought it was to safeguard the public, but then again, I'm a wise guy. Alan. This disease kills, not just the cows, but people. Have you ever had somebody you love die of mad cow? No, and I'll bet neither of you. It may very well be that somebody I love... There could be many, many people out there diagnosed with Alzheimer's that, in fact, ate bad beef. Look, if you say that outside this court, you're gonna get your ass sued. I mean, do you think you're bigger than Oprah? If you want to sue me, go ahead. <laughs> it won't be me. It'll be the American Cattle Association. Same thing, though. American Cattle, Department of Agriculture. Objection. And what's with you? I never object to you. In fact, I quite approve. Alan. Why can't she test her cows? What's the federal government trying to hide? Alan, it's not fair. Just because you're in front of a judge who's afraid of you doesn't give you the right to exploit the situation. Who says I'm afraid of him? Uh, he does. He used to say it to me all the time. If you rant long enough, Judge Brown will cower. Um, oh, Namby Pamby, no, I believe judge. is the word. I never that said. How oh, dare you? She's picking that up. No, I'm not. Yes, silence. We'll see who's afraid. It's me. I'm afraid. Silence. I this. You lied. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Can anybody explain the logic behind this? The federal government, our government, is actually prohibiting a company from exceeding regulations to make its products safer. I'm baffled. It's one thing to say that our government can no longer protect us. We've seen that with the FDA, which has failed to regulate drugs that have, in fact, killed us. We've seen our government undercut regulation by the Consumer Product Safety Commission, paving the way for an influx of uh, deadly lead-coated imports. We've seen the SEC, in deference to free market capitalists, go MIA on Wall Street, essentially leading to an economic implosion. And John McCain wants to deregulate healthcare, God forbid. I mean, I, I suppose all of that can be attributed to simple greed and incompetence, but this, this is a new tactic altogether. This goes beyond scrapping regulation in favor of big business interests. This is our government deliberately taking steps to actually thwart our safety. There can be no possible explanation for banning my client from testing her cows other than the most blatant and malignant one that the USDA has been bought off by the big meat packers who don't want to bear the added expense of doing the same testing. We've seen Big pharmaceutical buy off the FDA. We've certainly seen big oil help craft U.S. energy policy, for God's sake. The tobacco industry still spends 20 million a year lobbying Congress. But even if you're somehow willing to accept this money talks approach to government, how can it get to a point where she just wants to make sure her beef is safe? I mean, whose government is this? <laughs> I agree. Miss Bauer, this is shocking. Outrageous! Indecent! I don't know who the Department of Agriculture thinks it's working for, but it is certainly not me or my grandchildren. This ridiculous ban is, is overruled! My God! We're adjourned!